Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and it has been a while since we've actually said that, it feels quite strange. So my voice is actually going a little bit guys, I'm not sure why because I haven't really been shouting, but I've actually been on a, on a flight earlier on today so it could be that, I'm not really too sure. So what we're going to do in this episode, it's going to be like a bit of a catch up video, we're going to be announcing the iPhone 6 giveaway as well and uh, a few more bits and pieces. So I haven't been uploading on the channel for the last couple of days. We're going to tell you why. We're also going to explain what we're going to be doing on the channel over the next couple of weeks, guys, and throughout 2017. So stay tuned. Let's get ourselves into some attacks. So basically, guys, the reason why there weren't many videos over the last couple of days, we actually went and took a very quick holiday. So I went from London to Switzerland for, I think it was two nights and three days, guys, which is the reason why there has only been one video uploaded on the channel in the last three days. Now, from today, from tomorrow or today, we will be returning to two episodes uploaded every single day. So please make sure you sub to the channel, guys, to stay up to date with all the content, all the news, and of course the updates which are going to be coming out into the game. There is going to be an iPhone 6 giveaway in two days' time. Friday, we will give away an iPhone 6. If you want the chance to win that, all you need to do is literally drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm going to pick a random subscriber on Friday. There will be a face cam. There will be a Q&A. And you, my friend, will win a free iPhone 6. So if you want the chance to win the iPhone 6, drop a like, drop a sub, and stay tuned for Friday's episode. So as I said, guys, we basically took a very quick holiday, went to Switzerland for a couple of days, just checked out some scenery, you know, something a little bit different, traveling the world and all that. But as I said, we are back to two episodes on the channel every single day. So what we're going to be doing this week, there is a Golem event coming out in a couple of days' time, so we're going to do some videos based around that. We are going to build some more troll bases, but this is where I want you guys to actually interact with me. So there's going to be thousands of people watching this video, and what I want every single one of you to do, just take 20 seconds out of your day, go down below in that comment section. If you were in my position and you were running this channel, what video would you upload? If you could choose any video... What would you upload, guys? Let me know down below in that comment section. What do you want to see inside a COC? What would you do? Let me know. So we're going to get ourselves into a couple of live attacks because we are looking to actually build up this Dark Elixir. But as I said, guys, we will be returning to two episodes a day every single day. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be uploading two today. It just kind of depends. We have just started a new live war, so we may do something based on war, guys, but I'm not really too sure. It is already 6 p.m. in the UK and I just landed back inside of London. So we're going to get this video up and running on the channel just to let you know, let all of you know where I've been. And then uh, we're going to think about doing another episode. But it just depends how tired I actually am. But for now, we're going to farm up some Dark Elixir because I'm actually looking to max out these heroes. Now, whilst I was in Switzerland, guys, I did have maxed out Dark Elixir, but I decided... To actually max out the earthquake spell because I wanted to, uh, you know, do the heroes on camera in front of you guys. But uh, obviously I didn't have my recording system with me and I wasn't actually able to do that. So we did end up spending 90,000 Dark Elixir on, uh, what was it, on the, uh, the level 4 earthquake spell. So that actually cost quite a bit. So let's see what kind of loot is available here at around 4,000 cups. So I think we're just under 4,000 trophies inside of the Champions 1 League, I believe. And it's not too bad, it's not too great. The loot is, I don't know, semi-decent. It's not the best I've ever seen, guys, but we actually found some pretty awesome raids. Wow! Okay, so I said that and we came across that. Damn! 7,396 Dark Elixir. That is pretty damn impressive. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be dropping a jump spell into this uh, the core of the base. And uh, let's see if we can take this on. So this is gonna be a great raid. Here we go. Where should we attack from? We're going to take this base on from... We're actually going to take it on from right here, guys. Now, I'm hoping we're going to be able to jump into the core, take out loads of these buildings, and do some real damage to the actual base. And uh, what we're going to do, actually, change of plan. We're going to jump into this bit here. And we're going to drop down three wall breakers there to break down the, uh, the first compartment. There goes the Golem. And we're going to drop in the Archer Queen, the Grand Warden, and the Barbarian King. Sending in the golems now, sorry, the bowlers as well. There goes the Pekka, three healers, and of course the wizards. And then the other wall breaker is going to make it right through the base. 
Gonna drop the Grand Warden's ability to make sure the Wall Breakers actually make it through. There we go. And hopefully, some troops are actually gonna uh, funnel into the center. So there goes the free spell, guys. Second rage spell gonna go down into the core. We're actually gonna hold back on the third one. Inferno Tower has been taken out. There it goes. And now the bowlers, the queen, the main units moving into the base. So there we go. Queens, oh, we missed the queen's ability. Damn. So we've got a huge squadron of bowlers and other troops moving around the left-hand side, guys. But we do need to take out the town hall. Here we go. Bowlers now moving into the center. Unfortunately, our queen's ability was completely missed there. Completely messed it up. But we still have the king's ability to use. So that's okay. We've got the two-star. I would like to grab some more dark elixir down the bottom, guys. So let's see if the barbarian king's going to be able to do it. He still has a couple of healers on him, so it is definitely possible. Grand Warden there, and the Zepeka, it's looking great. So we should actually be able to swing all the way over to the second Dark Elixir Drill on the other side, guys. Let's see if we're going to be able to grab over 7,000 Dark Elixir. No, the Barbarian King has decided to betray me and swing into the center of the base. That is definitely unlikely, but check it out, guys. 7 plus thousand Dark Elixir inside of a single raid. And we pretty much demolished that base. Unfortunately, the Queen's ability was missed. That means we definitely failed at that three-star attempt. But you know what, guys? It's not really that serious. Have we got... Oh, we got a couple of archers. Let's just drop them off. End it there. Taking home 6,000 Dark Elixir plus 1,400 loot bonus and a great amount of loot. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. So we do have 5,000 gems, guys. We are going to do maybe a small gem spree. I'm not really too sure. There is actually a possibility... That there could be some more update news coming on the 20th of January, guys. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we are going to be maxing out these walls as well over the next couple of hours. But we're going to save our loot and we're going to spend it all inside of one single episode. So if I go into the uh, the train troops tab, gem them up, gem up some spells, go back in, into the uh, the quick train. Let's get another army brewing and we're going to get ourselves into another live attack just to see what else we can find. So we're currently sitting at 38. 99 in trophies heroes of gems spells are ready troops are ready let's get ourselves into this other live attack guys so if you've made it all the way to this point in the episode and you do want to see a second video please drop a like on the episode if we get 5,000 likes on this video we will bring you a war episode in a couple of hours time decent gold inside of that base but we are looking for dark elixir i'm looking to max out these heroes as quickly as I can. Don't forget there is a golem event starting. And that means golems are going to cost 10% of the original price. Which means we can farm up some dark elixir pretty damn quickly. That should be awesome. And that will be coming in a couple of days time. I think we've still currently got the star bonus event going on. I'm not sure if it's actually finished. I'll have to check that in a second guys. Let's see if we can find a raid. Here we go. Nope, not looking too pretty. So uh, let's see. Here we go. Town Hall 11s. Not really too great to be honest with you. The loot inside of the Legends League was definitely a lot greater. We'll search for a couple more. If we can't find one, then we'll take the uh, you know the best that we're given. Let's search for five more bases. So that Town Hall 11 wasn't looking great. Town Hall 10 not really doing it for us either. Another Town Hall 11. Let's search for two more guys. This is going to be a good one. I can feel it. Nope. And the last one. Come on. Here we go. Okay, yeah completely bad okay so we're going to accept the first one we can find we'll be back in a couple of seconds time guys stay tuned so here we go town hall 10 base not the greatest as i said but it's offering something and then you know something's better than nothing you may as well take it let's see what damage we can do to this base so we're going to be attacking from we're going to strike from the right hand side just right about here jump spell is going to go in there there goes the golem Wizard's gonna go on a nice little spread, make a nice little spread for us. There goes the king. So another king, the other uh, grand warden and the queen. Wall breakers now going, and also here we go. Bowler's gonna storm into that base. There goes Bob King, the peckers. Oh, bowlers! You had to go around the outside. We've basically wasted loads of our wizards already, guys. Grand warden's ability is being used very early. That's gonna enable the actual uh, the free spell to uh, not the free spell. Sorry, the uh. What am I talking about? There goes the free spell now onto the actual Inferno Tower. We got a couple of bowlers on the left hand side. Let's just rage them up and see what happens. Oh, damn. Walked straight into the bomb tower. That definitely wasn't good, guys. So we haven't actually done too much damage on this base, but it doesn't matter. Still picking up. It should be a 100% loot bonus. So two stars being secured. Slowly climbing in that percent, guys. Managed to grab the majority of the loot inside of the base. Here we go. Still got the Queen's ability to use, though. She's going to take some more of that Dark Elixir down the bottom. 
500 left inside of the base. Where is it actually hidden? Where is that dark elixir? It must be in that uh, that that drill sitting over there. I think that's the final drill. Queen's gonna swing all the way down the bottom. Let's see if we can grab that dark elixir drill. So she still has a couple of healers around her as well, but they are getting taken out slowly by the Inferno Tower. Queen is going down. There goes the Queen's ability, guys. Let's see if we can grab a 100% loot bonus. She's gonna take out the Inferno Tower, but the Expo has locked onto the... Oh no, it's on the Grand Warden. Can we grab the Wizard Tower before she's taken out? There we go, we got it. Grand Warden's about to go down now as well, and there... Oh, three archers. Let's just end the raid there, guys. So this is where the episode is also going to end. Don't forget, if you do want to see another one, drop a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the videos, all the content we will be producing over the next couple of days, weeks, months, and into, uh, you know, throughout 2017. There will be many, many videos on the channel. So I would just like to say, guys, a massive thank you because we are about to hit, maybe in an hour or so's time, 1.2 million subscribers, which is pretty damn insane. So I'll see you very shortly, guys. Have a great evening. Peace out.